Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back for another video. As I'm sure you've seen from the title, today's video is a vlog. I'm so, so excited to actually bring you on this vlog because I think it's one of my favourite videos I've ever filmed. It's just packed with like really fun things that I've been getting up to and kind of normal life. I've got some special guests coming on and just, yeah, it just feels really positive, really happy and it's just like good vibes video. So please comment below if you like this style of vlog where it's a bit chaotic but there's lots going on rather than kind of like the more mundane style. However, before I get into the vlog portion of today's video, I do want to start off by telling you guys a little bit about Decenio. They are kindly sponsoring today's video and I really wanted to share with you the most gorgeous prints that I've actually picked up from the site. I'll insert some overlays so you guys can see the specific prints that I picked a lot better. This huge one in the background is just my absolute favourite. It's honestly enormous. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, like, there's my hand ratio to the print. Like, it's huge. I've gone for a real kind of, like, beachy, light, summery vibe. And I love all of them. I think they're all gorgeous and they just give me a really, like, calm sense of escapism. So I'm very, very happy. But what I do want to tell you about really quickly at the beginning of this video is my discount code. So I want to get it right. So I'm going to read directly from the um, link here. My discount code is GeorgiaXO. I'm going to pop it in big letters across the screen. It gives you guys 25% discount on prints from Decenio. It will be valid until the 13th of May. So after the 13th of May, midnight, you guys can't use the code. So it's a very short code make sure you use it um, and don't forget about it because it might not be valid by the time you get around to going on the site and just so you guys are aware the code does not apply to frames or hand-picked personalized prints but all of these prints that i have are valid in the code um they're some of them new in like the motor moped down here is i think a new in piece um they also have a really really nice kind of like limes and like lemon theme which i think for a kitchen would be absolutely to die for this does kind of allude to something very very exciting because as you guys will see these prints are not actually going up in this house um you guys will see very soon i don't want to like spill too much but you guys will see very soon by the end of the month um where these prints are going to be um and i'm just so excited i think they're really my style they're really my theme and it just definitely alludes to a super exciting chapter in my life yes i'm really really happy definitely check out decenio you can do things like play around with the gallery wall which i just find so useful you can even put like a sofa below the gallery wall and then just move things around based on the prints and the sizes which if you know you're struggling for creativity or you really like the idea of prints but you're not the most creative i think that's a really easy simple way of figuring out how you want your space to look i mean in this house guys we have Decenio prints everywhere. I have some right in front of me that I'm looking at now. We have some in the office space, the hallway, we have loads. You know, the really nice thing is about the, the prints is once you've purchased the frames, you can change up the prints. You can change the prints four times a year if you want, you know, have like Christmas themed prints, Easter themed prints, summer, spring, like whatever it is. Um, because as much as I adore these, and I think they're perfect for right now, by the time like October, November rolls around, I might want to change up this style of print, but it's so easy to do. You just pop out, out the prints of the frames and hang them back up. So I am very, very happy. Oh, so cute. I love this little one here with the surfboard as well. Um, they're just so my style. Neutral, so it means you can still, you know, interject any color that you want. I think I will probably be interjecting a little bit of this sage green and blue kind of tone because I just absolutely love it. That is my code. I will leave it linked here. I'm also going to leave more information over on my Instagram. So make sure you check me out over on insta i'll leave all my social media links below if you've got any particular questions about decenio or anything drop them below i can reply to you guys huge shout out to decenio for working with me on this portion of the video that is enough rambling i'm just uh, good vibes good energy at the moment guys and i hope you like this vlog please let me know in the comment section if you like this vlog if you enjoyed it please leave a thumbs up all that stuff really really helps me out um on here on youtube so yes Loads of love to you all. I hope you're having a fab day and let's just get straight into the vlog. Hello vlog, welcome back to my channel, welcome back for another video. I thought I would start off my weekly vlog here because I'm about to head out so I thought it was kind of like the perfect time to start this weekly vlog. Um, I'm actually heading into London to see Em, I think Brad's going to be with her as well so I'm going to see them and tomorrow i'm going back into london i'm seeing my friend re and we're gonna have a really nice brunch so i'm just doing like a few kind of cute and fun things this week and i thought it would make a really good kind of weekly vlog i'm also loving my outfit today I kind of feel like um jim carrey in the mask but i'm here for it let me show you guys 
I do not know how well you guys can see, but I have on this motel blazer, this white PLT shirt, this little top from Amazon, and then the matching kind of motel trousers and then i'm probably going to be bringing this bag and i just kind of love the look i'll try and get a better outfit of the day in a longer mirror um i'm also going to wear some like white trainers or my balenciagas or something like that but yeah i think i'm gonna head in now i'm not sure if they're here um, i know em said that they were leaving earlier but i don't even know if they're here yet so i feel like i need to just get into london though because it's the day is like running away um so yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. I'm going to bring my camera and yeah, literally just vlog the week. So it's going to be random things throughout the week that I get up to and I can bring you all along and I'm very excited. So let's go. Come on with Hi. <laughs> I kind of I got that line in there. <laughs> Your mask is just, someone's going to be so confused. <laughs> no, because when I wear it, it's like my face has got flat so I get a mask across here. I kind of know what you mean. Look, who's here? And also we're kind of on like a matching vibe, everyone. Mm. Like M's in the yellow tones. Well, I'm in like the green. I have a new accessory. Oh, she's got an accessory. Yeah, it's going I'm with excited. the yellow. I'm scared. I need to open it, but you can't really open it around here, can you? Well, it's gift wrapped at all. Treat me. It's annoying, you can't really open it. Yeah, no, I did think that. Well, it'd be a bit sus, wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd be a bit, a bit fake. It. So, we've just reunited. And it feels so, so good. good. Um, the sun's actually come out, we're buzzing. I know, I did think that. You know it's actually yeah. meant to be out for the rest of the, of the Are day. Are you serious? We need to go somewhere nice, by the way, for dinner. Well, I'm kind of scared about that. We're in a bit of, we've made, made a bit of a we fatal error anything. here. We haven't booked anything. We should. I mean, I'm thinking that places aren't doing bookings anyway. Like, you have to just walk in and wait. I don't know. Let's check the weather. I could always ring them and just see if they've got anything later. Yeah, because even at, well, I mean, we went to book Sushi Zamba. Fun. You can eat there at quarter past ten at night. That's and the you can only, only have drinks. Course. So is that for tonight? For any time this week. Oh, like I'm quite shocked about that. Honestly, it's a joke. Like, it's an absolute joke. But I think they're taking tables off. I've booked Sushi Samba, Samba but for week, in week's time. That's the thing. We booked it for, like, May. The girls booked it. I didn't even... Just... Anyway, we're going to go shopping. We're going to... We're getting Joe in the juice right now. Brad's in there. We're getting him to get our Joe in the juice. <laughs> Literally, I don't wear rings. <laughs> no, he's just in there. Um, and then I think we're going to go, like, just potter around, looking like selfridges. We're gonna find somewhere to eat eventually, have some wine or some something. We need to sit down and relax. Yeah, I can't believe all my makeup, my lipstick's completely come off, but it is what it is. Here we go, everyone. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, loads of sold animals. That's the only ones I like. Yeah, same. Oh, well, we're both kind of upset now. <laughs> I don't like the others, do you? No. Well, that was short lived. That was really short lived. Oh. Bye bye, little moons. That was sad. Vlog. I need to vlog. I need to vlog. It's not like it's my job or something. Hey. Hey. So we left Selfridges. We did a full face of makeup in the middle of the street. Well, I mean, a full face of makeup. Okay, that was very dramatic. I just bought concealer, a brush, and a new lipstick to try and resurrect the situation because honestly, those masks take every little piece to be of fair, yeah, we makeup were off. Them for like an hour. And then we've come to this little secluded yeah. area. It's lovely in here. It is, isn't it? Mm. Look, M matches the background. Look at her, lads. Right, let's do an outfit of the day. Let's bring it back to old school oh, okay. YouTube. Come on, um, give it to the people. Where is my outfit Would you want to start at the bottom? Trainers. Balenciaga. Balenciagas. Um, Boohoo jeans. Boohoo.com. <laughs> excuse me. Um, excuse me, we're filming an outfit of the day from 2010. Can you be quiet? That was really loud. Um, <laughs> Boohoo jeans. I yeah. Uh, Zara, new bodysuit. Really cute. cute. Love this, the way it scoops in. Yeah, I've got it in black as well. I literally love it. I think that looks lovely. Zara blazer. blazer. Louis. Uh, that's it. That's it. Here she is, lads. Her style. She looks cute. Slip. Can you do mine? Thumb vibes. Funny, I really oh, feel like circa 2000. Like, literally eight. I feel like, yeah. yeah. I agree. Hi. Hi, everyone. Okay. Welcome back to uh, my channel. My Nike Air Forces. Ooh, from Amazon. Um, from Amazon. I'll link them below. Uh, this little suit is from Motel. We love this. Very comfortable. Like it's like wearing joggers. Yeah. Very comfy. Uh, top is Amazon again. Cute. We're loving Amazon. Loving Amazon. Shirt is PLT. Mm -hmm. Bag is Balenciaga. Mm, I love this. That's what we've got going on, lads. What about the hairstyle? Who's that done by today? The hairstyle. Your personal stylist. Not my hair. Is it not? <laughs> it's extensions. Oh, okay. Come on. Doesn't look like it. it looks very natural. Grew out hair. of my head. <laughs> grew out of my head. Food. Right, anyway, we're gonna go take some group shots. We're gonna- um, Group shots of just us two. What's the word? We're this gonna- This is our group. Hang on, me and we're me gonna and rank, oh, we're gonna- Your what? skin looks amazing. I've forgotten the word. Rally the troops? No, no, like I'm malfunctioning. <laughs> we're gonna- 
take some rope, pictures. We're going to rope Brad in oh. to take the pictures. Rank Brad in. <laughs> Ooh, not today. Okay, no. <laughs> I didn't know what they put. I literally broke right. there. Yeah, broke. Right. I literally was like. Yeah, was like anyway. was like, we're gonna take some group shots. Yeah, with all the group. Yeah, that's like, <laughs> like group shots. Me and you. So many of us. Hello, <laughs> well, guys. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Right, bye. <laughs> Yours is really good. Cool. No, I'm whispering. Oh, we're falling here. Oh, yours is so low. Hello. Yeah. I know, right? Should I open there? Should we wait for him? We're here. We've got these lovely heaters. The biggest thing I've ever seen in my life. It matches your outfit. Yeah, it matches her outfit. So I think you've given me. Is this going to be difficult for you? Can you take the ball? The box or the bag? The box, guys, it's all going a bit carnage over here. Did you see it? It's in the bag. This is never going to go well, let's be serious. I'm a bit slightly concerned about the colour. I just, it was a bit of Russian roulette here. Okay, I already know what, what you know I already colour. see this in the bag, but I already know what this is because when we're in South Africa, I was like, oh, I really want to go to yeah, yeah. Pangea pop up. And Jules was like, maybe just open the present first. And I was, I was like, like, okay. So <laughs> I couldn't not, at that point, I couldn't not be true. bait. It's true, I do get you. So I'm very sorry for ruining my own surprise. No, no, it's fine. Okay, cute. Well, we can open half of it. Okay, here we go. She's going to open half. Oh, God, I've got yeah, we're trying to do this in a restaurant vlog section right now. I love the colour. Really? Okay, so I was a bit nervous about the colour, but I do like it for summer. Oh my god, you've really spoiled me. I hope the size is okay. Yeah, large. I got the exact, I got the hoodie in a large, I got the joggers in a medium. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Because I got the same size as me. I don't know why, I just assumed. It's, it's quite a nice colour, isn't it? It matches my nails. Oh my god, it goes, and I think your hair looks lovely with this colour. I think so. Oh my god, I love it. I got you the hoodie, not the crew neck, because I know you no, don't yeah, like... the fur hoodie. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh my god, nice! You've really treated me! Oh, I don't not like really. Like yeah, no, she knows what she's got, so we're just happy about that. Oh my god, I'm excited! I had a bit of a mare with it, we to be honest. Wear. Pink and green would I'm, so Oh, yeah, that, see, that would be a cute pick. But here we've got a lovely table. I'm going to go for this drink, this passionate spritz, because, you know, let's jazz things up a little bit. Um, we're here, it's lovely. Em's got a little blanket on. Things are looking up. She's having a bit of a mare though, so we're gonna fix this problem. Yummy. Wow, yummy. everyone, yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> so we've got some it's olives. Got He's got a beer, the eye of Shandy. No, it's not a Oh, that's for you, but yeah, it's Shandy. We've got the warm bread, which me and Emily actually talk about this late at night because it's our dream. Um, like, which is literally, wow. And then we've got some olives. Everyone just had that. Um, and we've got these drinks, which are really nice, but I can definitely tell the alcohol's in there. It's gone straight to my head. Literally, there's vodka. Thank you. There's vodka, prosecco, and daffro in there. Yeah. Yeah. And we've got some of those little zucchini little things. Yum, 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 yum. Where I don't, it's white wine and prosecco for me that I am no, I'm not okay the next day. Like, wow, well, that's a large glass. That is a very large glass. Remember, I've got to get home. It looks amazing. Though. <laughs> looks stunning. You'll get home. Don't worry. Oh my! Wow, I'm having three quarters of the bowl. Don't worry. <laughs> Hi. Hi guys. So I am home. It is now like let's have a look. Ten past one. Um, I got home. I. I've literally just sat down. I just got in an Uber. I was gonna taxi it from Stratford back to me, but the regular line that I get, like one of the trains wasn't running and it just really effed with my journey like massively. Um, so I just, I managed to get like quite a good Uber. So I just Ubered it all the way home. Can we not talk about my friend that's decided that to turn up tonight? We're gonna ignore him and her. They're private people. Let's not talk about it. So I thought I would show you the bits that I grabbed in Selfridges. Really not that exciting. Grabbed a new makeup brush. This is the Morphe JH08 Extract Glen Hill. This is the foundation brush I use every day. And mine's just a little bit gross. So I wanted to get a new one. Um, so I picked one of those up. Grabbed my kind of everyday concealer. And a concealer that's not as light as the one that I'm currently using. And this is the Too Faced concealer in the shade Light Beige. Oh, I love this concealer. It is so lovely. The girls that were there were dead nice. Then I grabbed two Morphe lipsticks. Because I love Morphe lipsticks. If you haven't tried them, you're missing out. 
I grabbed, hang on, you guys are actually balancing on my knee. This is so funny. Um, so this Morphe lipstick is in the shade Forevs. And it's so nice. Okay. Oh my god, it's so nice. That's the colour. Also grabbed the shade Boy Toy, which is a lot more brown, like brownie nude. And I think this is a matte one. And that's this colour here. And then I picked up the Madison Beer Gloss in the shade Satin. So I would swatch this, but I actually don't want to because it's going to go everywhere, but kind of like a really pretty sort of pinky nude. That's all I actually picked up. I had to click and collect Em's birthday present, which I think I should have included in this part of the vlog. But now I'm going to check in for the night. I've got to be over at St John's Wood by um, half eleven tomorrow to meet my university friend that I haven't seen. I want to say a year and a half. I lived with her when I was at uni. She's one of my like closest friends. And I just think, I don't know, we'll always have like a bond because of the time that we spent at uni. And we just got each other. I don't know. I'd love to have her on the channel at some point to kind of talk about uni and both of our experiences she's very very intelligent she did a master's in neuroscience so yeah she's kind of amazing um and i feel like we just have kind of different thoughts and opinions on it all so what the fuck was that so yeah i'm meeting her tomorrow look how flushed i am so i'm gonna go to sleep because i've got to be up super early to do a couple of errands but i'm sure i will check in with you all tomorrow i'll bring you all tomorrow Howdy y'all, how are you guys doing? My receipt is blocking out this so you guys cannot see me. Hey everybody, good morning, welcome back. Hope you're doing good. Oh my goodness, so I didn't actually finish up. Oh God, there's a bloody car here. So I was really enjoying the evening with Emily and Brad. Um, and then I kind of just hopped in an Uber on the way home. I think I actually did film myself last night in bed. But oh my god, so my mum cooked me dinner, bless her. She didn't know what time I was coming home, so she just cooked me like what everybody else had. And obviously I came up really late, but I felt bad that she had cooked me dinner. So I was like, oh, I'll have a few mouthfuls of this dinner. And it was really nice, it was risotto. But when I tell you, even now, okay, I can still feel it. I have basically got the worst indigestion I have ever had. It's like ongoing right now. Like, what is that all about? I couldn't sleep because it was so bad. I, it was just horrible. Um, and I can still feel it now. My heart was racing, like racing. And I think it was because I had an espresso martini. And as much as I adore espresso martinis, they're like some of the nicest cocktails. They're not great. Like it is espresso with obviously alcohol. And I don't know, it just didn't really bode that well for me. Yeah, it just totally left me with like the worst indigestion that I actually still have right now and I should really go and buy some indigestion tablets before I meet my friend. But I thought I'd also kind of vlog today. This is like a week in my life and I'm doing really fun things at the moment again, which is like so exciting for me and it's made me like so happy again and yeah, you guys know, like, if you've been following my channel for a little while before COVID hit and everything, like, I am just such a social person and I love going out and seeing friends and, like, even just, like, being busy with work and I love that and that that is what, like, you know, feeds me in my soul, if you will. Um, so I've just, you know, hated, like, obviously most people this past year and a half. The lack of that has just been something I've hated. So now things are easing that. I just want to have joy back in my life again so yeah i'm really excited because hopefully these vlogs and videos are just going to get a lot more interesting than what they used to be which i think is super fun hopefully for you guys obviously when i saw em yesterday we were kind of discussing the podcast and how we're going to proceed with that and what we're going to do um i think we're going to start filming that in early june um you know hindsight is a great thing we, we actually probably should have started filming it in may i think we didn't really realize how many people were going to film these sort of work bubbles and that it would have been okay if we had done tests before and after and all those things but we didn't we, we we were worried about you know we were worried about what 
how people perceived us at the end of the day and I didn't want to offend anyone um, because I know that this is a very touchy subject and people obviously have emotional attachments to you know what's happened in this past year and a half so yeah I think we didn't want to offend anyone we didn't want to break the rules so we didn't um, but we figured out a little plan so we can start the podcast in June and hopefully get that out for a summer release which is very exciting so progress has been made there also I'm desperate to drive to Chelsea at some point and get the roof off this car uh, I didn't do it last summer I took bits of the roof off and I just regularly drove around with no roof on the car which I loved but I want the possibility of having it on and off um, yeah, I really want the option of taking the roof on and off. So I'm gonna book it in at Chelsea Truck Co and pay for them to fit a soft top roof, which means I can pull it back and I can pull it forward. Like when it's raining, I can pull it forward. Um, and then when it's nicer weather, I can take it off. And I think we're gonna take the sides of the back off, which I've not done yet on this car. And it's like one of the reasons why I bought this car. So I am very excited about all of that. Um, <clears throat> for today i'm going in to london again to see an old friend of mine i call her an old friend of mine but we met at uni but i know we met in a past life like i just have that kind of relationship with her um and i think that's why i look at her as an old friend i feel like i've known her forever so i'm really excited because i haven't seen her in the longest time um she did neuroscience at uni with me she lived with me for you know three years of my life and she's one of the smartest girls I know. She did a master's in neuroscience, so she is a very smart girl. And yeah, she was she was my best, you know, my best friend is my best friend. We have a really weird relationship in the sense that we don't see each other that often, but when we do, it's just like time has never passed. I don't know if anyone any of you guys have that with friends or anyone that you know, family or anyone. I am so excited to see her. We're gonna have some brunch at a place called Drunch. Um, we're actually going to the one that's in St John's Wood. So I'm gonna hop on the train and get over to St John's Wood. The weather's not deciding what it wants to do. Sunny one minute, it looks like it's gonna absolutely pee it down the next. So we'll see. I'm really excited to see her and catch up on life. I'm sure she's had so much going on in her life and it's just been weird, you know, not seeing people and not, and not hanging out with people. So really excited for that. I'd love to do a video with her one day at some point or a couple of the girls that I lived with actually about uni and just living together and like things we love, things we hated, the highs, the lows, nights out, our degrees. Um, but I don't know how many of you would kind of be interested in that. But yeah, I feel like it would be an interesting conversation because we have such different perspectives on uni. So yes, that's where I'm going. I'm actually running late, but what did everyone expect? I'm never on time. I am going to go. I will check in with you all. When I actually get to the place, I don't want to be too late. I need to get my little bum in gear. Uh, I've got so many errands I need to run when I get home as well. I was gonna, My mum was going to come in and I was going to meet my mum in town and spend the whole day up in London again. But honestly, guys, like I don't, I don't, I feel really tired and run down and exhausted. Um, and just the amount of stuff I've got to do. <sighs> Honestly, the amount of stuff I've got to do, I've got to sort out loads of stuff um, that I'm going to come home. I think it's just better if I come home. So yeah, anyway, I will check in with you when I get there. Loads of love. Hi. I need to have a look. I think I might get the pancakes. Okay guys, so we've made it to, um, what's it called again? Drunch. And with lovely Ray. You guys, if you've watched my channel for the longest time, you actually remember me because I vlogged your birthday in London. Oh my god, don't even remind me. <laughs> don't remind me. Honestly, like, if you've seen that video, it's very entertaining. I might go back and watch that this evening. Um, Stop. <laughs> we were like that running was, around that was London, a like honestly, like headless chickens, like. <laughs> It we, was, we thought we, we, we were going to the most incredible we, apartment uh, We were ever. going to the most, yeah, this Airbnb. Like this five-star luxury apartment, <laughs> you know, in a penthouse. Didn't we go to Nobu oh, for lunch? To shoot we, went, <laughs> we went to Nobu for lunch or something. Okay, we went to Nobu for lunch, had the most like, Bougie day, like all excited. Um, but look at these coffees that we've got. Oh, I think Reese oh, is coming over. Coming. Oh, How cute do they me. look? Oh. Here we go. <gasps> wow. Oh, oh wow, Fendi, Fendi, Fendi for you. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> I'm very easily pleased, Dusty. <laughs> oh my God, how um, cute. Yeah. Actually, no, leave it. 
So you've got jasmine tea? Yeah, jasmine tea, but my nails are estate, so... No, no, we haven't got them in, don't worry. And hers is Fendi, of course, mine's Dior. I'm actually going to get a pick of the two of them together because I think they yeah, look very, cute. very cute. Um, but we've come here and we're going to get some food in a minute, so we'll let you guys know what that's like. But we're just excited we haven't seen each other since... I don't know, like two years ago it feels like hideously long. We've just got so much to talk about. So much to discuss, I feel. So we're going to catch up, but I will show you guys our lunch when it gets here. Oh my god guys, hi. I am back in my car. I cannot tell you how bitterly cold it is today. It's like May 5th or something. It is honestly freezing out there. Like I am so cold. It's raining. It's grey. It's a very miserable day. I'm having a fight with the seatbelt. Um, and I just I feel like something weird is going on with me at the moment. I I don't feel like I get quote unquote anxiety. I'm not, I've never just been one of those people that's really suffered with anxiety. Um, I've had a couple of experiences where I would say I probably was anxious or panicking, but you know, general day to day basis, I don't really suffer with anxiety. But last night, I think I told you guys, I had what I thought was indigestion and like a really racing heart. And I put it down to eating late, which I still think it was. And also the fact that I had an espresso martini. Um, I just kind of had that feeling again, <laughs> like an hour ago, that like panicky, short of breath, like the mask was on me in the train. Just not nice feeling. I did grab a coffee, but I've grabbed a decaf coffee because I'm starting to think I'm drinking too much caffeine and it's affecting me in a negative way, which would be random because I've always drank coffee and never had an issue. But can you guys let me know if that's like suddenly developed and never happened to you? But I am going to drive home. It is so cold. I'm in my car. Thank goodness. I'm gonna get home. I've got so many errands to do and it's like three o'clock in the afternoon. So yeah, bye guys. Hey, weekly vlog, welcome back. Um, this is probably gonna be the last instalment in this kind of weekly vlog, but I'm gonna be vlogging next week and I'm just gonna be doing it so much more regularly, which is very, very exciting. Um, I've just got changed. I'm wearing this little top from Urban, which I'll link below. I've popped on like a bit of a ready kind of pinky lip. Hair is slicked back because it needs a wash and girls, this is the best hairstyle when your hair needs a wash but I'm going to get my nails done so I thought I'd bring you guys with me they've grown out so well because I went for like a French like a nudie kind of French vibe I think I want to do like each nail a different color but like just the tips so I'm gonna try and do that we'll see how it goes could be a bit of a disaster um but that's the kind of vibe I want to go for and I just thought I'd bring you with me to have my nails done I'm wearing this leather jacket jeans are I saw it first and then my mum's Louis bag and yeah I'm gonna grab a coffee and a little something to eat because I'm just so hungry and um, I know that when I sit in the nail place I don't know if you guys can relate you sit in there for so long you end up getting really really hungry so yeah I'm also wearing my new earrings which is which are from Oma the label I really like them I like them from like the side I think they look really pretty so yes let's go whoa I look a little bit bedraggled that is for sure um, I've got cold sore cream on my lip because I think I'm getting a cold sore. I'm about to go and put my hair into some like deep conditioning treatment before I wash it tonight or maybe even sleep in the deep conditioner. Um, so I'm about to do that. I think I'm going to pop on a bit of the Olaplex number zero and also number three. Just literally threw that on myself. These are a really nice combo together for a deep little like TLC for your hair. So I think I'm going to pop those on in a minute if not the Philip Kingsley, which is one of my favorite products, but I'm running out of it. I wanted to show you guys my new nails. So definitely very chintzy inspired. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen them. I absolutely love them. I think they're really, really cute. Part of me kind of wishes I had just done the blue instead of like the blue and the pink. I kind of wish I had done this blue on this hand as well. I don't know, I just really like the blue contrast. I think when I go in there next time, I might just get blue tips. So I might get like this teal color or even this color. Um, tips but they're actually really fun I wanted something a bit different I wanted something that was going to cheer me up and um they're not permanent aren't they they're just a nice little fun addition I kept the same shape because I just find like this shape kind of flatters my fingers a bit more I've got no tan on I need to wash my hair I need to scrub all this makeup off I'm just like in that kind of vibe and I'm also a bit worried because I've got like three ads that I've got to do three ads that sounds dramatic two ads that I've got to do um for tomorrow basically and this like one of the things um i wanted to have like you know 
look nice in the ad so i'm gonna have to film that tomorrow morning just because my hair needs a wash too badly to film it tonight but that's okay also i got sent some really cute bits from this brand called typology i apologize by the way for the mess in the background please it's just it's one of them weeks guys a lot is going on in my life at the moment and it's just one of those weeks i've got to sort this room out i've got to just yeah have a cleanse of my life but before i end this vlog i did want to show you some of the stuff because they sent me some stuff there's brand called typology and like normally in pr you know you get like the odd thing and it's really lovely to be sent products by brands i'm so appreciative of it but guys the amount of stuff this brand sent me is kind of amazing i'm really intrigued about it um if you guys know i've started going to a girl that's doing my facials i've had one done by her and i'm booked a for another one and my friend phoebe has actually booked in with me my sister's gone to her my mum's gone to her so many people i'll actually leave her link below because she's great and i'm going back to her in a couple of weeks i'm trying to get like a facial in like once every five weeks um and just kind of treat myself and have a little bit of tlc but a lot of these products i'm excited to ask her about because i know they all kind of do different things so this one for example is lactic acid and I'm gonna butcher this, acerola extract. So this is an exfoliation to apply in the evenings. And I just love the little like pipette and the whole style of these. This one is caffeine and niacinamide, which they recommend for an eye serum, two to three drops under the eyes for morning and evenings. There's just hundreds of them. Um, and I'm not the best with like acids and skincare and stuff. So I like that it tells you what time to apply it and like when it's for and how often throughout the week to kind of apply it as well i just really do quite like that this is a lip balm i love any kind of like moisturizing lip balm i'm actually running out of my lip balm at the moment they also popped in there some of their other products so like this is a um is this a perfume a fragrance i think orange blossom hydrolate is this like a toner and they've put in there some of their uh, like tinted moisturizer type foundations it says it has vitamin c it's like a light coverage which i think is really nice um nice to use like when you don't want to do heavy makeup so yeah i just wanted to show you this brand because they really did spoil me they put loads of stuff in here and a lot of like skincare stuff which if you guys know i'm really getting into my skincare at the moment and just trying to like prioritize my skincare so so much and i've definitely seen a difference um yeah i mean i have like i want to do a whole video actually on my skincare journey because i have photos of what it looked like before Loads of you are asking me if I'm still taking those tablets. I'm not at the moment, but I am still applying the cream every now and again. But I think also like introducing some more products into my routine has kind of helped me. Now I'm taking my clothes off. A lot of chaotic energy happening in this video. But I just wanted to hop on here and basically end the vlog, show you guys my nails. Um, I hope you did enjoy it. I'm gonna be filming one of these next week. So not this week, I'm not vlogging this week, um, just because I've got a few bits to kind of do and my week isn't that exciting. But from next week, I'm gonna be vlogging again. Um, I'm really excited to be doing that because I've got loads of fun things happening. Um, I'm like going to meet with my management for the first time. I'm gonna be having PT sessions again and Phoebe is coming to stay for the week. So I'm so excited to vlog with her. But I also wanna do some main channel videos with her. So if you guys have any recommendations of what you'd wanna see of me and Phoebe together, definitely let me know in the comment section because now I know she's coming. I can maybe plan a couple of things. Also gonna try and film something with my sister for this weekend, because I know you guys like videos with her on the channel. So yeah, lots happening. Wanted to come in here and properly end the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please comment below if you did. It was so nice seeing Em, so nice seeing Re, having kind of like a normal week again. Um, I hope you guys are happy and doing well. I'm gonna go and wash my hair because it's about to crawl off my head and I'll see you in my next video.